Imagine what's gonna do to your top 10 if you get a whole album like that. Just imagine, bro. I just want you to imagine real quick. Just imagine what the fuck your top 10's gonna look like if Duckworth does that whole album. That's all I'm saying. Fall back! Yeah! 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 Fall back! Bounce! 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 Fall back! Man, we can make cubs. We can make love. We can make... Uh, uh, uh. uh. We can make cubs. We can make love. We can make... Uh, uh, uh. uh. Uh, we can make cubs, we can make love, we can make uh, uh, uh. We can make cubs, we can make love, we can make They're cringing so much right now Including Duckworth, who's probably not watching this um, Man, Duckworth's watching this, I've been talking to him, man He's a big fan of our work I mean, I dreamt about it, but He did reply to our message once and we nearly got an interview with him <sighs> We were um, close, guys I chatted to Duckworth and uh, his manager after his Melbourne performance mm -hmm. um, and they're great performers and they're great dudes, just couldn't fit it in the schedule, but they were down until they found better shit to do. I was devo because I couldn't see him because he clashed with Amine and I had bought tickets to Amine, so I thought, I want to see Amine. And he was amazing, so I'm glad I went. That's cool. That's cool. It's not like I spent like four hours preparing questions or anything, Duckworth. It's <laughs> not like I did any of that. Dude, as someone that like has done a lot of interviews in my time, about over 50% of the interviews that you, that yeah. you potentially get, you never get. Yeah. So you just have to... Suck it up. The more you do it, the more... It's a good practice as well, but it is, it is really frustrating. Yeah. Especially when you've write, written really good ones, you know that no one else has probably asked them. Yeah. Yeah, Duckworth's definitely one of my biggest inspirations within music in the past two years. I really fuck with the sound he's going for. I think he nails it to the T. I love his individuality. I love his fashion. I love his art. I think he's, I think he's meant to be one of the next big artists. I, tr I truly believe it. I truly... I need water. I truly believe it. <laughs> And uh, that's why I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited for this new single. <laughs> oh I'm fucking excited, man. Yeah, I echo your thoughts uh, exactly. I'm not going to add any more on that, man. Duckworth is a unique talent. You want to add some weird shit on there? <laughs> so we're going to do the single, and then we're going to watch the video as well, which is the live Can version. Can you shut your mouth, Jimmy? <laughs> I can't freeze my camera number! <laughs> Fuck him up, Duckworth. Doing yourself every time. Imagine if we get a whole album like that. <gasps> bro! Just imagine, bro. Just imagine. Oh, I love imagine what's gonna do to your top 10 if you get a whole album like that. Just imagine, bro. Just want you to imagine real quick. Just imagine what the fuck your yeah. top 10's gonna look like if Duckworth does that whole album. That's all I'm saying. All I'm gonna say if I could redo my top 10 now for last year, Duckworth maybe be in there. Holy shit. Hawk Infectious, beat is wild. The distorted production oh. is. Beautiful. I love how off sort of beat it is a little bit as well. Like I can't predict exactly when the next the next doom is gonna come in. The next doom. The next doom. And you notice he switched it up click, obviously, bro. and he dropped it down, kind of like what Brock Hampton oh. did, except he brought in back the distortion to the outro. Yeah, it was fantastic. Really well done outro. Fantastic. His verses one point two. His flow was absolutely bonkers. <laughs> and he brought energy, brought yeah. energy and passion to the table. Man, I just, I just really see this guy next up, man. He's just, he's got, he's just got everything. He's got it all. He's got it. He's got fucking everything, man. Yeah. If y'all tell me something that he ain't got, he got it. Okay. If you whip out, you whip out something, and he's like, I got, you got this. He got it. Like, does he have a pet elephant? He's got it. Does he have a elephant tree that grows limes? He's got it. Does he have the finest of the hot sauces in the, the glow in the fucking heavens? He's got it, man. It's, it's fucking. 
Does he have a vagina? He's fucking got it, mate. He's got many of them. This I know. This, this, yeah, this, this I saw. This I know. This, yeah. this I saw. Yeah. Um, we're going to watch the live version now. We'll probably put snippets of this up, but I just want to see the difference. Why is this in the Like half shirtless, like his pants pulled up really far. I can't really see. Look at his fashion, man. That's a one piece. Woo. Oh, fat. Oh, it's dope! <laughs> <laughs> He's falling back. Settle down, settle down. I love that lighting. Man, loves crouching. Gotta stay low. That transition. Oh. I love what he does with his legs. It's so fucking cool. That's an artist right there. That is an artist, man. And let's shout out to Vivo. The camera work on that was phenomenal. That was crazy, and the lighting. Mm. And it looked like it, it looked like it was quite low as well. And the further went back, I don't know if that was an optical illusion, but it looked like it was a really like low room. The further you're back, in a way. Yeah, that was dope. I was like, you crouching because of that, but then I saw the keyboarders, and I'm just it's like, just, I'm looking at some dope artists, man. Tyler in the corner there, and so Will Smith in the top, Denzel, like some Mac Miller, like can't, like there's so many great artists. Denzel. What are you talking about, like Little Wayne? Yeah, I re I just I feel like the only reason that verse was left out the the the, the single version the is it must be part of the album because that was too fucking good to fucking waste like that. Yeah. But like you said, that's a fucking art right there. He's Duckworth isn't even that big yet, man, and he's putting out visuals like this. He's putting out quality music for his past two albums, and like like I said, the look that he had there, the lighting, like the and even the dancing and the way that he moves, the way that he present, like he's a performer, bro. Everything he is is someone who's meant to be at the fucking top, man. And I'm actually glad that he hasn't blown up quicker because it gives him more time to grow and be even more hungry for it, like. I think the longer it takes someone to grow, the, the blow, the, the better, man. The blow? <laughs> like, yeah. It takes me a while to blow because I don't know how to suck a dick. Anyways, that was Duckworth. A uh, really cool song. Check Fuck it out. with him, man. With him, Type man. it in, Duckworth with Fuck no man, Duckworth. O. I fucking love you, man. Keep doing your thing. We always going to be man. fans. Next time you're in Australia, hit us up. We would love to, if not even interview, man, just fucking have a coffee and just talk shit, man. Just, we know how to do just that. Talk. I say peace to my niggas doing diligence. Natty dread, naga sipping java, smoking cigarettes, blocking out of stress, trying to get a million back from the place I threw my nickels at. Keep the five on my hip, but please don't call me nickelback.